Hi, I'm Ken Brophy. I'm a principal engineer at Real-Time Innovations. I'm very excited today to show you the new RTI monitor tool. It's a graphical tool which allows you to visualize your DDS system, help diagnose problems, and understand how it's working. Um, before we jump into the actual demonstration, I'd like to show you one slide detailing the demonstration system that we're going to be monitoring today, and we'll do that now. The system we'll be monitoring today is a launch control system. It's comprised of two components. It's a simplified version for demonstration. The, there's a sensor and there's a controller. The sensor has things like temperature and pressure and this data flows over DDS through the user topics. The monitoring data also flows over DDS but will go to the RTI monitor tool that we'll be discussing next. This is the RTI monitor tool. On the left is a hierarchical breakdown of the system components including hosts, processes, <clears throat> and all the DDS entities that occur in the system. Each, each row contains a description and a type associated with it so you can see the name of the data type as well as a short description which is usually the topic name. On the right hand side is a system overview. As the name suggests, this is uh, an overview of the entire system. Each, each host is represented with all of its processes and domain uh, entities including all the DDS entities. Included in there are an overview of the uh, notifications that are currently in the system. The notifications are red for error, yellow for warning. So if you mouse over one of these entities, you'll get a description of the current problem with that entity. This particular data reader is experiencing samples lost, while this data reader next to it is having a problem with a conflicted type. These statuses are calculated for you by the monitoring tool logic. A second function in the system overview panel is highlighting matches in your system. So if you wanted to know if a given process was matched with another process, you could use this panel. I've selected the first process here which shows up in blue and its match, all of its matches would be shown in green. For example, this publisher also matches that subscriber and this subscriber has a match in the other application with this publisher. The third major function in the system overview panel is measurement display. Colors are used as indicators of greater values for each measurement. Currently we're measuring the sample's received count and the closer the color is towards red, the higher the value the closer the color is towards um, yellow, the lower the value. You could mouse over any, any one entity and get its current value uh, as a tooltip. There are many more values that can be measured besides samples received, including throughput in terms of samples or bytes, memory, CPU, and other critical system metrics. I'd like to move from the system overview panel now to the all notifications panel. This is another system wide panel which gives you uh, details for the entire system in one view. This panel focuses on problems that are in the system and as you can see we have several problems at various levels. We have both warnings and errors including type conflicts, samples lost, and requested deadlines missed. These, of course, have been injected into the demonstration for these purposes. I'd like to show the System Types panel next. This panel gives details regarding the system types being used 
and it's in a table which is sortable, so you can sort based on uh, each column. In this case, I'm sorting on the maximum serialized size so that you can see the various sizes in your system and adjust your quality of service accordingly. Moving from the System Types panel, we'd like to go to the Processes table. This is another sortable table panel, including the critical metrics for each of the processes being monitored here, the CPU and the memory. And again, you can sort this table based on the metric of interest, perhaps the total CPU you're looking for a problematic process in the system which is using a lot of CPU and it would be very straightforward to locate using this panel. One more point I'd like to make about the All Notifications panel is that if you need to dig deeper to find out why something is happening, you can select the object, select it in the tree view, over in the physical view, and then you can get more information uh, based on that object. One of the panels that gives you more information is the status panel. So I bring that up here and I'm now looking at the data writer that was missing deadlines. In this basic view, the deadline missed is not shown, but if we switch over to the advanced view, you can see where the total count uh, is going up on a regular basis. So this particular data writer has lost 1,301 samples, and the deltas are shown uh, in the, in, to the right of the uh, value. This panel also shows other critical metrics, including samples pushed, samples that have been filtered, liveliness lost, incompatible QoS, and discovery matches in the system. I'd like to switch over to the data reader that is matched up with this data writer. I can do so by clicking on this link down at the bottom. And now the tree view um, lines up and stays synchronized with that selection. And we can now see all the detailed statistics regarding this particular data reader including the fact that he agrees with uh, the writer missing many of its deadlines and um, it also shows the samples received, samples that have been filtered, um, samples lost or rejected, incompatibilities in the system, and it does have its discovery statistics at the bottom as well. From here I'd like to go to the description panel the description panel gives you a detailed breakdown of the quality of service for this particular reader. And in particular, I'm looking for the deadline period, which is shown here. So the deadline is 250 milliseconds, and now I understand more about why the deadlines are being missed. Perhaps this is too short of a period for this particular system, and that can now be adjusted through the quality of service files. The built-in topic data shows all of the discovery quality of service, which is a subset of the quality of service in the first panel. The last panel in this view is the data type. The data type panel contains the type code serialized size as well as the minimum and maximum data serialized size, which is its size on the wire, and its maximum key serialized size if the data type is keyed. Lastly, it has the IDL representation of the data type, and as can be seen through this view, there is a key on this uh, type of type identifier. I'd like to move from this panel now to the Notifications panel. The Notifications panel is a historical view of the notifications that have occurred for a given entity. In this case, uh, deadlines missed is a recurrent theme for this particular data reader and notifies the 
the operator that indeed this this component needs to be looked at looked at because it is experiencing abnormal behavior. Next, I'd like to look at the chart panel. The chart panel is useful for displaying values as they change over time. Currently, we're looking at samples received versus time for this particular data reader. And there are many different metrics we could look at, including throughputs and deadlines. This reader is missing deadlines, so I'd like to look at that and see if there's any pattern to it. It does seem to be occurring every now and then. I could coordinate this data with other charts that I can bring up in the system to try to get to the root cause of the problem. One of the more useful features of the monitor is that you can get very specific data for a given entity, but you can also get aggregated data or roll-up data as well. So here I'm going to select the top level object called system and the chart will now update with all of the requested deadlines missed across the entire system. So I can see that that particular data reader is the source of most of my deadlines missed, but not all of them. If I wanted to look at other key metrics for the system, including samples received, samples written, I can see the aggregation of that for the entire system here by just changing the focus in the tree view on the root node. So those are the basics about using RTI Monitor. As you can tell, it's a very data-rich environment, including lots of information that we didn't cover today. We hope you give it a try, and thank you for joining us.